David here with Fig Boot on pens. About four years ago, I did a video where I showed all of my pen storage and a bit of my overall collection. A lot has changed over the last four years, but a lot has also stayed the same. Uh, since it's been so long, I felt like it was time to revisit the subject. Uh, the main purpose of this video isn't to show off a large collection or anything like that. I just wanted to share a variety of storage options with you to give you some ideas of how you might want to store your own collection, whether it be a single pen all the way up to something which could hold several hundred pens. Uh, some of what you see is one of a kind, uh, some is no longer produced, uh, and other things are readily available. I'll discuss the origins of each of the pieces and include a few links below in the notes. Just understand that links will not be available for all of what I will be sharing. Um, I feel the best way to do this would be to go into first person camera mode, so forgive the raw nature of this video. So without further ado, let's take a look at some storage. Okay, like I mentioned, this is going to be handheld, so it's going to have a bit of a different look to it. Also, I didn't want to figure out how to light my entire office, so if there's any shadows or things like that, then uh, uh, forgive that as well. But let's see, a couple of things. First of all, uh, if you looked on my desk in some of my earliest videos, I had this pen of the day vase. Uh, I would put my pen of the day in that vase and then have it on my desk. And that's what I uh, used for that. I know a lot of people like pen stands and things like that. There's the crabs and lots of other things. Uh, it's just something I've really never used that much as far as a pen stand goes. But I do, do enjoy my uh, pen of the day vase. Um, then in regard to some other things, this is what I use to carry my pens on a daily basis. This is a four pen leather case from Wancher. Uh, what I do is at the on each Sunday or Saturday or sometime on the weekend, I will determine the uh, pens, the five pens that I'll be using during the week. Uh, and then I have two loaded in here now. I need to figure out the other three. And then I'll put the name of the pen in here as well as the ink that's in there just so I don't forget it. But this is what I use uh, to carry around my pens on a daily basis. And that was from Wancher. Something I have on my desk, you can see them in the background of every video. I have two of these on my desk, which are the cubes from Dudek Cubes, Dudek, Mo Dudek Modern Goods. Um, I really love these walnut cubes. They look simple, but they perform a, a really good service, and I, uh, I, I enjoy them, and I, I use them all the time. I have a third one in my office at work uh, that has a, a different bit of a layout to it. It has a slot in it where you can uh, I keep post-it notes and then some, uh, some holes for pens, but I really love these. Uh, they only produce them on a somewhat uh, irregular basis, kind of on batches. I'm not sure when the next batch will be, but if you have a chance, uh, I would uh, encourage picking up one of these Dudek cubes. I really enjoy it. Uh, next up, I have, uh, this is the Galen Leather, and this is their Magnum Opus case. Um, I really like this Crazy Horse Leather, and on a lot of my storage, I try to keep the uh, same manufacturers together, and this one is all of my pilots. Not all of them, but a, uh, a good number of my pilot pens. Uh, and this is a really nice case. This is a, a 12 pin case that uh, that looks nice and uh, does a good job. It has some. It's nice and hard and sturdy, so you know nothing's happening to the pens in there. Um, a couple of other things is over here. Sitting on top is the Xbox and the uh, the, the PlayStation. But this was just a. Uh, a some drawers that I picked up from Target. I think it was only like $25 or $30 or something like that. But for the longest time, this is where I would keep all of my pen sleeves and some of the uh, kind of portable pen storage. It's empty right now just because I was cleaning things up and I actually cleaned out all of the things that were in there because I wasn't using them on a regular basis and it was just taking up space. So I figured that it would go better in a box. Uh, but these are all of my pen sleeves that I didn't feel good about throwing away. Um, then there are some uh, individual things like this is, uh, this is one of the uh, uh, Yenderlings. Uh, cases. I, you know, I really never used it that much, but it's very soft. I don't believe they're in business anymore, but I have all sorts of little cases and things like that in here. And for now, I'm keeping them in this box. Okay. In regard to some other storage, this is an item that you can see on my desk uh, over my right shoulder. On every video, this is a 40-pen 
uh, no, I'm sorry, a 50 pin box from Wancher uh, that the top lifts up and then each tray holds 10 different pens. Um, these are some of the deltas. These are uh, some of the platinums. These are the uh, uh, pilots when it comes to the uh, uh, vanishing points, a couple of Edisons. Uh, this is where the pilots were before I put them in the uh, other case. These are all sailors. And then finally, as far as this group goes, this is something else that you'll actually see kind of above my head in each video. And this is a 24 pen case. Um, I purchased this so long ago, I honestly don't recall where I bought it from, but this is a 24 pen case. And this is where I keep pretty much my 24 favorite pens, if they fit in here. I have a couple that are too large that won't fit in here, but this is where the LB5s, there are a couple of Pen 8111s, my Mont Blanc uh, Hitchcock, as well as several other pens, some of my Arcos uh, down below here. It's always kind of a bittersweet when I pick up a brand new pen that I really, really like, and uh, I end up having to boot something out of this case. I think the most recent edition was this one from Makar Knives. Uh, this is just an amazing looking pen and it really deserves to be in this case. I can't recall what I what, uh, sadly had to get booted out of here, but that's what I kind of keep my, my 24 favorite pens go in that case right above my head on my desk. Sorry to cut in here, but as I was editing, I realized I left something out that I wanted to mention, and that was uh, these pen wells from Good Made Better. Uh, that there's a couple of different versions. This was the original one. This is the one out of cement. Uh, I have the uh, one that's called the Modern, I think. Uh, I have that on my desk at work. I use it every day, uh, and it fits pens nicely. Uh, and it's kind of the pen that I'm actively using during the day here on my desk will be in this pen well and I use them on a regular basis and really like them okay coming over here we have a number of different things um, first of all this is something from Galen leather and this was their stack and store hard to kind of do this uh, with one hand but there is a lid on here and then this is a stackable unit each of these holds 11 pens and then there's a tray un underneath for some inks and what the thing is you could purchase as many trays as you want and then stack them up um, I don't think they're in production right now but when they are it's something that uh, I felt was reasonably priced and, and did a very good job for the money these are all of my Wancher pens. Um, I have one that's actually out being worked on right now, which will then uh, go back in here once it comes back. Okay, next up we have something that I made myself. Not the entire box, but you'll see what I mean by that. Uh, this was a art box that I repurposed. Re this was a case that had some art supplies and brushes and paints and things like that. And I went ahead and gutted it out and then turned it into a pen box. Um, I took a old pet attic t-shirt and cut that and put that in the top. I added this tray. One of my most common questions I get from folks is where to get these trays. Um, there's a number of places. If you just Google pen trays, that you can find them. I purchased mine from a company uh, called GoPens. I'll put a link in the notes below. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but um, they're easy to cut and kind of put into any, uh, uh, any storage that you would like. This is where I keep my Emperor and some of my larger pens. Uh, this is uh, the Rockster. I just love the purple on this Rockster. It's amazing. Uh, and some of my uh, Ryan Crusack pens here. And then the bottom is empty for now. That's where I kept a lot of Leonardo's in here. But now I have new storage for that, which you'll see in just a minute. Next up is a gift that I received a while back, which I thought was really nice. Uh, it is a wine case, and you can see here that it's an uh, Italian wine case, and so I felt it appropriately appropriate to put some Italian pens in here. Um, when I received this, uh, the uh, person that gave it to me uh, had a friend of theirs 3D print uh, some uh, some pen slots in here. So those are 3D printed slots, and this is where I keep all of my Visconti pens. So I thought it was appropriate to keep my Italian pens in this uh, Italian wine case. And it's something just different and unique uh, and works well, and it's sturdy as well. 
Next up, we have something that I like, I use, but I don't really use that much. Uh, this is a case from Wolf. I think I had picked it up, you know, literally years ago. Uh, I can't remember if it was directly from the site or maybe from Mass Drop or something like that. Um, it's very well made. I think it's just a solid piece. I like the looks of it. There's a little tray on top. Um, then you you could put some ink in here if it was uh, uh, shallow. And there's a little tray. And then down here on the bottom. There is a, a pen tray. It is also removable. There's a second layer. Now, one of the issues with this is that it's not very deep, and so you can't put uh, pens that are too thick here uh, on the bottom row. If it's thin pens, then it will go fine. You can put the thicker ones up top. Uh, but this is a, a well-constructed case that I just never really used that much uh, for no other reason other than I just hadn't found something that uh, I could specifically use it for. But it's very well constructed. I like it. Okay, now coming over here, we have a few things. First of all, below here, we have these two cases from Ikea. And these are their Alex um, drawers. Uh, it comes on casters, but I took the casters off. And I use this for a lot of individual storage. Um, there's a lot of random things. I keep a lot of paper in here. These are the Marmon word cards that I use for all of my ink samples. Uh, also, I have my colo rings in here. Then I have all of my audio equipment and some iPads. Then there's a lot of notebooks, uh, all of my old Hobonichis. There's a number of inks, some pens and some boxes, some random things down here. And then the second case is where I keep the vast majority of my inks. And again, I have them organized by manufacturer. So here's all of these uh, Pelicans and the Mont Blancs, and then all of, the, all of this is Colorverse. Uh, and then we have all the Poppy de Plumes and the Diamines and the Monteverdes. We have all the Leonardos and some of the pilots down here. I'm sorry, the sailors. Uh, the pilots are down here, all of the Orozuzuku line, uh, as well as some of the Visconti and the Robert Oster. And then getting here in the bottom is some of the more random inks. And down here in the bottom is really some of the random things. But you can see that my ink storage is rather full. It's getting close to its limit. Now, a couple of other things. Up top here, we have this case here, which I really love. Uh, this is something from Harbor Freight. It actually closes up here. There is a few things going on. Uh, they actually have a couple of different versions of this. I, this is the version that I prefer more. And then there's another version that they are currently selling on their site for right around $85, $89, something like that. It just has a slightly different layout. Up top, there are some supplies here where I keep a lot of random things. And then down here, there's just lots of cool drawers for different things. Like I keep all of my cartridges here. And then this is some loops and other supplies. Uh, then here, I have my bulb syringe and some other supplies. Uh, then we have some repair supplies. These are all of converters, things like that. Uh, then there is some pen storage down here as well that I put the trays in. Uh, and this is just some really nice storage. If I have uh, pens that I like to keep uh, in the sleeves, I end up keeping those in here as well. Okay, I mentioned before that I found new uh, storage for my Leonardo's and that would be this case right here. Um, this is a uh, Leonardo 30 pin case uh, and I really enjoy it. Uh, and it, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a, it's not hardwood, it's a, it's a cardboard. Um, it's well constructed um, and it's reasonably priced. I think it's around 100 euros, but it fits all of my Leonardo's very nicely. And then there's a little tray, if I can get the thing out, there we go, a little tray on the bottom as well. Here are the Leonardo's from my Leonardo projects. Um, I know I showed this before, but 
Um, these are some of the prototypes and for my first pen I had a choice of whether or not I was going to uh, have it as a matte finish or as a, a polished finish. The top one is the matte and while I really like the looks of the matte I just thought that the uh, polished uh, version brought out the, uh, the colors a little bit more. And then finally something that's going to be a little bit hard to get into the frame here uh, this was a writing desk let me get a little bit back here that i had purchased from uh, toyocraft out of japan i believe that's how you pronounce it if you want to follow their instagram they have a lot of really cool uh, wood items that they sell whether it's cases or desks and things like that but i get a lot of use out of that when i do my writing samples for the reviews it's actually on top of this desk the only thing is I wish it was slightly larger. Um, I don't mind the height, but just I wish the, the surface area was slightly larger. Uh, I really like how it's constructed. We have a drawer in the front or a table in the front. Then we have this side panel that slips out and then it slips out on the other side so you can have it on one or the other side. Uh, in here, I keep all of my wax seal supplies. Then this is basically my writing desk so that when I'm writing uh, folks letters, then these are all of my supplies. I have stamps, some more wax seals. These are all the letters that need replied to. Uh, and then I keep my old writing samples from my reviews. Uh, if you write me for the first time, I generally uh, include a writing sample from one of the reviews as a, a little addition in what I send you back. Then these are all of the uh, paper that I use. And then below that, you can see there's some envelopes, as well as a Galen writing box that I use for storage as well, some thank you notes. Uh, and so overall, it's just a nice piece of storage. Okay, so I hope that with all of this storage ideas that you get some uh, ideas that are useful for your collection to help keep you better organized. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.